So let's go straight into the game that my brother likes. He likes this game. Miami versus Wisconsin in the pinstripe bowl. What makes you like this game, though? Because you know what's funny? What have Wisconsin really played Miami? Two different styles of play. You never really see these teams match up. That's why it's interesting to me because, don't get me wrong, the ACC football, that's, that's like more of a powerhouse basketball school. Yeah, I um, agree. Well, well, conference, I could say. Conference, yeah, I agree with that. Um, so the football aspect behind Miami, they have a lot of tradition, a lot of great history. They've had some good winning seasons and they had some bad seasons. I feel like the way Wisconsin's season has gone from last year to this year, I think Miami, I think the U, I'm not even going to call them Miami because I'm, I'm, that's kind of like disrespectful. I'm going to call them the U. Ooh. The U. Um, because if they could keep their defense, well, I'll put it to you like this. If they could, put, if they could keep Wisconsin at least, at least 17 to 21 points, they can win this game. 17 to 21 points. If Miami can hold them at least to at least to 17 to 21 points, Miami can win this game. At mm. least that. At least that. Mm. Now, on the other flip side, Wisconsin, I've always liked their defense because they slow fast teams down. But Wisconsin, I love Jonathan Taylor, yo. That kid is going to be a problem. But he but he's been struggling at the end of the season with the fumble. He got to chill off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if he can hold on to the ball and not fumble, I don't see Miami winning this game at all. But just off to the strength of the U, and I love their colors. Sorry, Wisconsin. Y'all just don't do nothing for me. I like Jonathan Teller. I like their team. But I got to go with the U. Mm. I have to completely disagree. I think Miami lost their swagger from last year. Every time they got a pick, they used to wear their U chain. What happened to that this year? What happened to that swagger that we thought the U had? The chain ain't gonna come out this game. Watch. The chain ain't gonna come out. It's gonna come out at least twice. Watch. You think it's gonna come out at least twice? And the shoulder pads gonna come on. Ah, uh, I don't know about that. I think Jonathan Taylor has a breakout game in this game here. He, he's not gonna have no more than eighty rushing yards. I, I I completely disagree with that. I completely disagree. I think we'll have at least 125. I'll say at least 125 and a touchdown. I'll give him but, a touchdown, but he ain't, he ain't getting over 100 yards. I think he will. I think it's going to be the aspect of turnovers for these defenses because even the swag on offense for Miami, like just think about it. Like they just have not been that U team that we thought that could have been in the college playoff last year. You know what I'm saying? They could have been in the college playoff last year. I understand you lost a lot of players to the league, to the NFL, but I think Florida in general, the state of Florida, is losing out on their best recruits to the SEC. Yeah, that, that's definitely true. That's definitely true. That's, that's definitely what. I, that's true. what I. That's what I feel, and I feel like with these, with not not to be off topic, but these parents need to think. Okay, Alabama's a great school, cool, but it's far. It's not far, but it's far. Those, those towns need to stay into the Florida states, to the Floridas, to the uh, even 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 UAB or UCF. Those teams in That's the state of Florida. The early two thousands and the years before that, Miami was so good because they were recruit inner city kids. Exactly, and they were always dominant. So you we still have kids that go to Florida State, Florida. You know what I'm saying different things, different schools like that. But at the end of the day, they still always recruited. They see Florida used to always Miami used to always win their state and recruit between it was between Florida State, Florida, and Miami. Whoever won that state out of them three out of them three schools had the best class in that state. Had the best class, or had or just had the best class for all them schools. But you just won for bragging rights yeah. for that for that state. And then people would back then people would depend on. Whoever wins out of those games, that's the school they're going to. Exactly. It's not like that anymore. But at the end of the day, I do like Wisconsin in this game. I think Wisconsin, um, I think this is a very even matchup. Very even. Both running games are good. Both defenses are okay. They're not stellar, but they're okay. Yeah. I feel like that with um, 
with this game here. 